Hans Ruiz for regular news, catching up with super lightweight prospect, undefeated prospect Alfredo Hernandez, 6 0 with four KOs. Alfredo, you have big news to tell the uh, big uh, fight fan audience. You're fighting, you're finally making your U.S. debut on November the 20th in Pomona, California. How's everything going? Everything's going good. Finally, um, I'm back in the ring, November 20th, my comeback after three years of um, being away from the gym and everything. Now I'm coming back November 20th in Pomona. I'm ready to fight again and make my debut. I'm ready. What's been going on with uh, Alfredo Hernandez's uh, career, personal life overall? Well, I had stopped over three, three years ago, the pandemic and some other little problems I had. And um, after three months ago, I finally decided to come back, make my comeback. It's been three months, hard training, and now I'm ready to fight again, November okay. 20th. Um, I met you about four years ago at the same location, uh, the Ramirez uh, Boxing Club in South Central Los Angeles. So you've been loyal to this gym. Now you're training with a recognized uh, trainer by the name of Mario Yuka Morales. What are you guys? What have you guys been working on this past uh, few months? We're, we've been working hard, um, distance, strength, um, movements, everything I didn't do before. Now I'm doing it even better now. And um, I'm just ready to fight already. I'm ready to get my seventh win. Okay. You want to update uh, the fight fans pretty much about yourself? If I can remember on our last interview, uh, you told me you started your, your, your training out of the Azteca Boxing Club in, uh, in Bell, then you moved on to the uh, Ponce de Leon gym in Montebello. Now you're here at Ramirez uh, Boxing Club. All those years, you've been sharpening your, 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 your tools. Are you ready for your U.S. debut now? I'm ready. I'm ready to show everybody here in the U.S. that I'm, I'm, I'm going to be great. Even though I was gone for a little bit, but I'm ready to come back and show everybody what I'm made of. All right. Uh, can you tell us more about the whole uh, boxing card taking place on November the 20th? If you have your opponent's name, his record, anything else you want to go ahead and uh, inform uh, the audience about your fight? Well, I'm just, I just know that he's from Mexico. He's coming from Cancun, Mexico. Um, I don't really know his name yet like that, but whoever it is, I'm ready for him. I'm ready to give him war. So you have a, an overall record of six wins with four KOs. Uh, you've been fighting opponents in, in Baja California, Mexicali, Ensenada. Uh, is this a bigger challenge for you to be fighting finally in U.S. territory. Of course, because that's where all my people are at. That's where I'm going to show everybody that knows me what I'm made of. I'm ready to fight and show them what I'm going to be capable of. Okay. You want to go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about yourself? Well, when it comes to like the, your, your boxing background? Well, my boxing background, I just come from a f humble family, um, very good family. Like they're, they they um, support me a lot, friends, a lot, they just want me to do good and be a better person. And I've been doing boxing since I was 12 years old, pretty much. So it's nothing new to me. All right. So you've seen uh, Mario Yuka Morales training all these world champs. Any, any favorite fight while he's been training all these fighters that you said, oh, I've learned a lot from this guy, from this man? Well, I've been training along Ponce de Leon. I've been training along. Um, um, Giovanni Segura too, like we all, I seen him when I was growing up, I seen him be world champions at the time and I'm going to be a world champion one day too. Yeah. So you'll be making noise, you'll be fighting in the super lightweight division, is that your, is that where you're planning to be fighting for most of your boxing career? Yeah, that's career? my goal, to become champion at 135 and then move up to um, multiple world champions. Yeah. Should you come out victorious on November 20th, uh, how soon do you, want, do you see yourself fighting sometime next year? Once I, once I fight, I'm back at the gym on Monday and um, I'm ready for my next fight in a month or two. How do uh, the fight fans get more information about your upcoming fight? Uh, where, do, where, where can they be um, able to get tickets and, and stuff like that? You could go to marvnation.com mm -hmm. and that's where you could get the tickets, go online, buy the ticket there. Or either you could go to where I'm going to be fighting at in Pomona at the Derby, um, the Derby room, the Derby room, yeah. and um, yeah, that could all just show up and buy our tickets and 
see me see me win all right there you have it ladies and gentlemen I'll, you go by the nickname of uh, uh dominate why dominate. is that dominate because i feel like i'm gonna dominate the, i'm gonna dominate the the boxing world okay that's what i'm gonna do all right so now you're wearing the mar nation promotions that's where everybody will get all this information i'm gonna go ahead and zero it in zoom it in Marv Nation promotions, November 20th, the U.S. debut of Alfredo Hernandez. Do not miss this young prospect undefeated training under Mario Yuka Morales. Anything else you want to add to this interview, Alfredo? Just stay tuned. Stay tuned for my fight. And um, I'm going to show everybody what I'm capable of. Thank you very much, and we'll be seeing you soon. Thank you.